I think there is a need probably in Kerry at the moment for investment, actual investment like you might see, and I know it's, it's, it's in the news at the moment, and in Kildare, and, and counties are probably in a bit of trouble, but the, I mean, it's, it's a bit of a... Um, it's, it's funny because whilst they might be in financial trouble, there is a need, like, you do, you do need to spend money. So you're talking about investing in underage, well, I, in yeah, conditioning for underage? Yeah, I think in Kerry there's a need for investment in facilities, mm. definitely. There's, no, there's actually no centre, there's no headquarters, we'll say. Where you can where you can have a holistic approach and and get under 14 under 12s under 14s under 16s minors in under 21s and seniors you know together there's probably a need for investment in in coaches I think there's and there's also a need for investment in in, in strength and conditioning probably as well you know mm. uh, even something like physiotherapy and, and re injury rehab you know I, th I think there's a need at the moment for a facility in Kerry whereby you know it's a headquarters for Kerry football where all teams can work from and, um, it sounds like a great idea, but I'm sure the county board, if they were sitting here and the chairman was here, he'd be telling you, Paul, we haven't got the cash. Yeah, possibly, possibly. We have, um, he might have to go to our sponsors, maybe, <laughs> Kerry Group, and with the cap in hand. But um, I don't know. I think there are plans in place. I mean, it's, it's, it's a bit, there were plans in place, and I think they fell through. I'm not sure what the situation is at yeah. the moment, but, but I think it's certainly an issue that, that Kerry football need to look at.